it's Ann here from Ann Makes. Thank you so much for stopping by on this very snowy day. Um, yes, it's snowing right now. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's snowing and yes, there is blowing snow. Uh, that's just part for the course here. It's like uh, with the windshield, I just heard on the radio that it's like minus 24 degrees Celsius. So uh, I'll do the conversion and put that in Fahrenheit there. So it's not that bad. We've had colder. We just had a snowstorm last night. It snowed all morning and then we had a, most of the morning it snowed. We had a little break and I actually had to drive my son somewhere. So I went to Dollar Tree while he was at uh, the place he had to be. And then after that, I had him drive the car because he's not ex uh, an experienced winter driver. So I wanted him to practice driving on the snow. And he, he learned that, uh, wow, driving, <laughs> driving in winter following a snowstorm is very different from driving in the summertime. So he was like, where's the road? <laughs> and I said, yeah, that's just it. This is why you have to practice and you have to get used to driving um, in the winter because here that's just what happens. It snows, it snows hard, and you can't see the road. <laughs> you can't see the middle line, you can't see the side lines. You just, you just go with experience and follow traffic. So I went to Dollar Tree and I found some goodies. And I found some brand new stuff and I was really excited about it because this is stuff I just saw at Creativation. Uh, I was at Creativation in Phoenix, Arizona almost two weeks ago and on the show floor at the Multicraft booth they had these products. They are mini foam glitter balls. So you get a nice size bag. Um, I don't know if it gives the weight here. Oh, it does. It's 0.88 ounces. They're like styrofoam, so it's very, very light. Or 25 grams. And they do have a little picture here for an idea of what you can do with these little styro balls. So these are, I haven't been to my store in over two weeks. So these are new at my store, for when the, and they're new for me at my store. I saw them in this shade of green, this royal blue, very royal. It's really, really shiny. It's, it's hard to show that off on camera. Um, this purple, and I guess this fuchsia, magenta type of color. They're very, very shiny. Okay, I can't... Yeah, the, the camera doesn't pay it justice. So I was excited to see that at my store, and I couldn't wait to share that with you. Now, like I said, I've been gone. I haven't watched YouTube videos in a while. So uh, for all I know, these have been out for weeks, and you guys already know about it. <laughs> but hey, it's new to me, so I'm excited. Uh, another multi-craft product. Uh, craft decor DIY the mini tin buckets and look at that the little cactus and they had these at the show too which was very appropriate for Phoenix with the little cactus and so they come in a two pack of these white little tin buckets very cute and I know they also come in this unfinished metal galvanized metal these are pink like painted white a creamy type of white and these are just plain so I think these are really fun for all our DIY crafting uh, decorating that we love to do now another new product at uh, Dollar Tree are the bags uh, again craft decor also by Multicraft tube confetti so it's real i'm just trying so if you they look like those little beads but they're they're squishy and they are confetti but in tube shape and here they show they give you an idea of how you could use it as a filler in a vase or jars so it's available i saw it available in the silver color 
There is 20 grams in here or 0.7 ounces. I love this kind of iridescent white one. I just think it's beautiful. It really, it catches the light and it reflects colors. I think it's really pretty. And in gold. So, uh, yeah, these will make great filler for vases. Can be used in fairy garden making. They can be uh, used with some glue on a project to make like a mixed media project, a home decor. There's so, so many things you can do with these. So, the sky's the limit. And, oh, <laughs> This is so funny. I was gone for two weeks. I come back and my son was like, I'm sorry I broke your soap dispenser bottle. But I was like, eh, it's okay. I knew uh, it wasn't that big of a deal. I had bought it at Dollar Tree. And so today I found another one and so I can replace the one that got broken while I was away. <laughs> I also picked up one of these little storage boxes, the kind with the flippy top. I just uh, have a space in my cupboard and I think this storage bin will be just the perfect size to fill up the space and then I can put some more crafty supplies in it. Probably these little bags or anything else that I have that's not in a container currently. So I got that. I picked up two packages of the Kitchen Company Butcher's Twine. You get about 70 meters or 76.5 yards on here. It's just some kitchen twine, well, butcher's twine. And I thought, oh, this will be just a nice texture to do some macrame with, maybe. Um, yeah, there's macrame is so popular. Everyone's doing macrame. But uh, I find it hard to find the right type of fibers to work with macrame that's not a jute cord that's rough and, you know, and yeah, so I, t I thought I would maybe do some macrame jewelry or something uh, with the kitchen twine. It'll be softer on my hands. So I got a couple of these. I also picked up a kit. It's a travel. Oh, and it's a resealable bag. I didn't even pay attention to that. Resealable bag, a shoe shine kit. So you get true polish in black and brown. Now I already have some like this and my husband has used it for his dress shoes. I have used it uh, on my, my leather boots and stuff and it's fine. And it comes with a nice little, like I think it's like a chamois, like a little sheet inside, little little rag to, um, yeah, it's a polishing cloth. A deluxe polishing cloth, that's what it says. So, uh, but I picked this up because my store had a lot of these all of a sudden. They had put out, they had received a new stock of them and they I, reminded me, oh, I wanted to share that with you that this is great to use if you like the vintage look, you have the age look, the rustic uh, old look. This is a great way to age a lot of projects. It's a great way to age wooden pieces. It's a great way to age paper and stuff. It's so easy to apply, especially that it comes with a little cloth. It's very cheap and it works. It really works. So this is something that I learned, oh my goodness, when I was very young, uh, I knew people who were using this to antique for, you know, help antique the look on the furniture. And yeah, so in case you're like me and you had forgotten about it, I just wanted to remind you of that. Okay, what else? Uh, I did pick up some food items just because they were new at my store. They had the Cordon Bleu um, hot chicken sauce and I was excited to see less salt, 35% less salt. So I got one of these to try. And I also got the Cordon Bleu barbecue sauce with, uh, again, less salt, 35% less salt. It's still high in sodium, but I do allow myself to have uh, a, a tablespoon of sauce with my food uh, because I like it. So I thought we'd give those a try. I've heard good things about the bullseye 
blazing chipotle barbecue sauce and our barbecue sauce stash is very low right now i just thought i'd pick this up for my guys they love barbecue sauce they just love they dip their chicken fingers and chicken nuggets they they dip everything in barbecue sauce they bake they love this on meats of course and so i that for them picked up a couple bottles of body wash for hubby uh they had the irish spring just because hubby travels a lot so this is practical for him to bring in his carry-on uh this is new they had this little i believe it's a screwdriver yeah, it's, it's a little screwdriver with all the different bits, all the different shaped bits. And I just thought that would be handy dandy to have here in my craft room. Not a very big screw I have, you know, like I have in the garage for, you know, big, big things. This might be very useful uh, in my craft room. So, and it comes in this nice little case. So, but why not? Can't go can't go that wrong with a you know for a dollar 25 dollar 25 because i'm in canada that's what they charge us here so whoops i just moved you sorry about that so um so i thought that i, I think this counts as a crafty item <laughs> uh oh bubble wrap i come i was completely out i'm completely out of bubble wrap I used up every single piece that I had saved from every package that came in over the last year. I saved it for an entire year. I filled up one of those big like Sterlite containers. It was packed. It was jam-packed of bubble wrap. But at, after Christmas, I used bubble wrap to wrap all my breakables. I was tired of using icky dirty newspaper and flyers and all that so I went with bubble wrap so I just thought I need another I need some bubble wrap in the house right now in case I have to mail something so I got a little roll and <clears throat> oh uh craft medley again multi-craft uh mini foam beads so they're similar to the ones I showed you before these ones are the glittery ones these have no glitter they're just plain they're like fake snow uh, but here's a reminder and I appreciate that they give little ideas and you know they give little pictures they show ideas that you things you can do with the product and see here this is great to use if you're making slime if you make slime with your kids and you add this to the slime and makes it all textury and fun uh, that's so cheap <laughs> um oh they had some tubes some new tubes of hand creams and this is what's it called what's the brand uh a little utopia for your skin uh pure passion fine soaps and lotions this one is jasmine and a water lily oh my goodness I love the scent of this. I just thought this is so fresh looking, so fresh smelling. Yeah, jasmine and water lily. And uh, I bought myself two little tubes of this because I go through a lot of hand cream at this time of year. It's so dry in the winter. When I was in Phoenix, it was super dry. We said it felt even drier than here. Here in our house, it's dry because of the heating. Outside, it's very humid right now. It's like, ugh, it just chills. You're just chilled right through your bones. This is ugh. But uh, yeah, so I go through a lot of hand creams and I love the size of this. This is great to toss in a bag. So I got myself two of these. Love the scent. I checked out all the other scents. There was lavender, there was um, vanilla sugar and all this. But this one's my favorite. So I got myself a couple of hand creams. I have some food items that I picked up for my family, things that they were low on and that we used, just a real lemon. The other day we wanted lemon. Uh, the lemons at the grocery store were really pathetic looking. So we just, we went without lemon. So I just bought this. So if we ever, in a, in a pinch, this'll do. So this time of year, 
uh, fruits and vegetables are not always the greatest. There are stores that have really beautiful fruits and vegetables, but our local store, yeah. Anyway, uh, so and I picked up the Billy Bob's hot sauce and jalapeno pepper sauce. My son puts hot sauce on everything, so got that for him. And, oh, these are new. These are some candies. Again, they are real earth bounty. Le several weeks ago, I hauled the ginger covered in dark chocolate. My husband doesn't like them. He says they're awful. He, he likes ginger, but that was too much ginger, he said. So, but that's what he said. I don't like that either, but, you know. Uh, so I'll have him try the coffee bean one. The other one, which was, I think it was cranberries covered in uh, yogurt. Love that one too. I'm running out of room on my table. Okay, sorry, I keep moving you guys. <laughs> okay, picked up some yummy Vortman cookies. Uh, this week they had the strawberry one, strawberry wafers, yummy. So that'll be fun. I uh, got this package of treat bags with zip seal. There's 40 pieces in here. What a good deal this is. This is great. Of course, for uh, Valentine's Day, if you have kids and are going to school, they're bringing a treat. They're bringing a little gift. You can make 40 little bags. They're also great in your craft room. They're great for storage. And they're cute. And you have 40 of them. So I think it's a good deal. Um... Uh, they had, this was new at my store. I just wanted to try it. I didn't even check how much there is in here. They are uh, Mepco Sweeto Stevia. Zero calorie sweetener. Made with cane sugar and highly purified stevia leaf extract. Apparently there's 24 packets in here. Now, I do not add sugar to my tea or my coffee. Um, I'm very, very careful with the amount of sugar that I take, except for candy. I don't think that counts. Uh, but sometimes I will have an iced tea, and I find it just it just doesn't have enough sweetness. Uh, I don't. I try to have regular iced tea with no sugar, but I like to have a little sweetness. So I like to put a little bit of sweetener in it, and usually I'll put like half. That was a little pouch or something. But uh, yeah, I'm happy I could find these at Dollar Tree because I only find these in restaurants usually. So happy to have that. I saw this game uh, called I Know Trivia for Your Eyes. Uh, trivia for Your Eyes. Everyone can play, anyone can win. This exciting trivia game explores the world through images. You get to pick your own question topics and show what you know. I have no idea. I picked this up. It, there's 57 cards in here. It's a trivia game. They look like little picture cards. This is what it looks like. I know. Island, Carmen. Oh, okay. I guess this is good for if you have kids and they're learning about picture, you know, images and calling up. Yeah. Oh, and there's questions at the back, like trivia questions about the things here. So I picked this up. I thought it would be fun to uh, to check it out. And uh, worst case scenarios, like worst case scenario, I could always just use the images and some sort of art channeling or mixed media, whatever. Got that. The Dollar Tree I was at had a very nice display of a Crayola products. I wanted to take a picture and I got distracted and I forgot to take a picture. Uh, all these beautiful Crayola products, they had lots of crayons, they had pencils, they had nice construction paper, uh, doodle pads, they had finger, children's poster paints, they had of so many colors. And I thought, you know, to buy a brand like Crayola at a dollar store, I think that's really cool. Uh, especially now, this time of year, we have a lot of snow days here, so a lot of kids are staying home. Um, because there's no bus transportation or whatever and you know parents are probably pulling their hairs out of their head <laughs> and you know there's going to be spring break and all this stuff so I just thought it's really a good place to go get some really good quality uh, 
arts and craft supplies for your kids. So, and I picked this up because I'm a big kid. Uh, these are Crayola glitter crayons. So I just thought, oh, they might be fun. They might be fun to color with, but they might also be fun to melt. So, uh, yeah, so I got some glitter crayons. Now, there were some new books at my store, which doesn't happen very much. So I picked up a few books for some people. I saw this one. It's Uncle John's Bathroom Reader Book of Love. So I got that one. I thought that's a cute, cute little Valentine's Day, uh, you know, gift bag thing. This one is Cavalry of the Air, an illustrated introduction to the aircraft and aces of the First World War. And I know someone who is into, uh, you know, airplanes and fighter jets and, you know, just like that. So I just thought this would be a fun little thing to give him just to, you know, flip through. And then I saw this one called The Wit of Golf. And apparently it's funny stories about golfers and golfing. And my husband's an avid golfer. So I thought, I hope there's something in here that gives him a good laugh. So I got that for him. Now, I picked up a garden bag. Yes, the garden stuff is out. Are you kidding me, Dollar Tree? I know I know Dollar Tree is based in the U.S. Okay, I know. But right now, we're not gardening, people. We are digging ourselves out of the snow constantly. You would do well to sell shovels. So, <laughs> uh, but they have these garden bags. And I thought I would buy one of these just because usually these bags are pretty sturdy. They do have a hand handles. And I just thought maybe this would be good for when I have to haul things in and out of my car. And you know, you get bags and they rip or something or yep. Yeah. So I just got that for to have extra bag to hold weird, bulky, heavy items. Does that make any sense? It makes a lot of sense to me. Oh, here's another craft thing that I saw and I, I know, it's so silly. I mean, do you see outside here? What do I have? A plethora of trees, trees and branches. And the girl buys, yes, natural wood slices. There's 10 pieces in here, but look, they're cut so nicely. You know they're even and I didn't have to go get the branches and take them to my garage and deal with the snow and you know deal with the fact that my garage is not heated and have to cut with the bandsaw or, or the table saw yeah I just bought these I thought these are really cool for crafting and for those of you who live in an urban environment and you're into the woodsy stuff yeah this is great for you <laughs> But it's even great for the country girl who has a lot of trees because I don't want to go out there get branches. Uh, this also new uh, craft decor. It's a glass jar ornament. All it is is just a little jar. Glass. It's glass with a little metal lid. They've poked a hole through it and they attached a little piece of jute cord so you can hang it. So you can fill it with whatever you want. You can hang it as a decoration. Hey, keep it till Christmas next year. It's a Christmas ornament. It's heavy. It's glass. But very cute. Near the cash register, I saw this 10 color pen. And it's a Wonder Woman pen. It's a Wonder Woman pen. I had to get it just because. Okay? I got that. I got myself some sockies. I had seen a lot of my American uh, friends who do this type of video on YouTube hauling these cute socks finally showed up at my store. So I got the pair with the panda. They're very cute. Pair with the little kitty cat. And I got going to puppy. That's all my store had. That's all I got. They are very, th I do find them thin, especially for now because it's so cold here. But they'll be great to wear in the house uh, with my comfortable Crocs. I, I walk around all day. I'm doing stuff all the time. So I don't like to wear thick socks while I'm in the house. I do need thick socks when I go outside because it's bloody cold. But yeah. 
Uh, there were some magnets. I don't know if these are new or I just missed them, but I saw them today. This one is a white kitty cat that says, I want it meow. <laughs> I want it right meow. <laughs> yeah. I thought, yeah, that's like my cat. And this one, I think it's grumpy cat, really. It just says no. <laughs> and then you have the mermaid cat. <laughs> it says, as real as your sense of humor. So yeah, so catfishing, I guess, I don't know. So got that. There were some uh, new post-it, these are not new, they've had these before, but they had gotten a new shipment of Jot sticky notes uh, in the shapes. So I love to find, when they have the circle ones, I love to suck up on them. And I did, there's a hundred in here. I did get pink because I love using pink in my office but I also got some yellow because I wanted three packages and these are really great to use as masks when you do any kind of art arts and crafts they're great for using um, as masks when you're stamping they're great for using as masks when you're painting yeah they're just they're really fun for that and you could use them as actual sticky notes so and I also got some heart ones and they had pink so they had all different colors. Of course, I just chose the pink, which is somehow appropriate for Valentine's Day. So, got those. I picked up a little scarf. I saw this same scarf when I was in the U.S. and I thought, oh, when I go home, if they have it, I'll buy it. So, yep, there we go. I bought it. To me, this looks like a bunch of donuts, but it might just be circles. But I think it's donuts with little heart. So I thought that was really cute and colorful. Got that. I picked up some packages. I've been trying to, I was hoping my store would have these again. They do. The floral wire, that's very flat, bendable wire. I have a happy jig from We Are Memory Keepers where you can make embellishments and paper clips. Um, and I, I, uh, how can I say? I checked out the wire. I have some of the wire that comes with the, the happy jig. And I compared it to the Dollar Tree wire, and it's, I think it's the same gauge. It, to me, it appears to be the same thickness. And here we don't, it doesn't say on here what the gauge is of this, but really, to me, it's like, it's almost, if it's not the same gauge as the one that comes in the We Are Memory Keepers kits, uh, then it's very close. And I just thought, I have all these fun colors now to do with that. I picked up some more of the Fairy Garden figurines. I already have these, but I know someone who's been looking for these. So I have them for you. Um, oh, I got another pair of socks. These are the emoji socks. And of course I got it just because there's a kitty. So kitty comes home with me. And some new hair elastics. Uh, I know, hmm, nothing to get excited about, but I do use uh, hair elastics to hold things together in my craft room. I just think they're prettier than rubber bands. And yeah, so I got this because this set, I thought these were really cute. And I'm actually gonna use these in my hair as well. So uh, yeah, so I got these little new hair accessories. And what else did I? Oh, then I have my little fuzzy friends here, my little monkeys. I got a white one and a pink one. They also had red. These are for Valentine's Day, and I just thought they were kind of cute, and they'd be cute uh, hugging each other here in my uh, studio. They're very soft. And there's a bunch of food items. Uh, there were a lot of this uh, Mrs. Dash salt free seasoning which for me is really nice because i these are such a time saver these seasoning packets but i am not able to use them usually because they have too much salt in them they really those seasoning packets are just chock full of salt and this one by mrs dash no salt so i can use this so i can 
make a quick batch of tacos. And this one is for beef stew. And there's also a chili one. No, there's a chili one. Yes, chili. So I was happy to find that. It's nice to make those kinds of meals, especially at this time of year. And I will be able to eat them because they won't have any salt. I picked up a fashion doll just because I have an idea for a craft project. So I needed a dolly. Got that. And, and, and that is it. That is it for my first Dollar Tree haul since I am back from uh, Creativation 2019. By the way, as I am speaking to you, I am uploading for the fourth time. I'm trying to upload for the fourth time another uh, video in the Creativation series. So if you find that it's taking me a long time to share uh, what happened at Creativation with you, well, it's because the internet has been lousy so <laughs> sorry I can't I can't do anything about it I had very bad internet when I was in the hotel in Phoenix I couldn't upload a single thing from there uh, and I just I, I needed my computer so much I couldn't afford to just leave my computer in the hotel room while I went to the show and at the show uh, yeah, I didn't have time to sit there and just upload stuff. I had too much to do. So that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. So yeah, so uh, that's it for my Dollar Tree haul. And stay tuned. There are other videos coming for uh, showing you Creativation. Even a Dollar Tree haul that I did in Phoenix, Arizona. And lots more good stuff. So uh, until next time, stay crafty. And thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.